Hello, this is Akiko Sudano at StampinInTheMeadows.com in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. And welcome. I am uh, doing my Facebook Live today using this uh, beautiful Waves of Inspiration. And I'm going to be using both the stamp set with the beautiful wave and... I'm going to be using the dies, and I'm going to be making um, this card with um, both the uh, beautiful um, Ways of the Ocean Designer Series paper and the uh, Blue Foils Specialty uh, paper. And isn't isn't that foil just beautiful? I I've used both of the blue colors. Hello, hello, Karen. Thank you so much for joining me. I've used both of the uh, blue foils. Um, the Coastal Cabana is the lighter one that's more of the teal. And the Knight of Navy. Hi, Amy. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Karen. Yeah, in North Carolina, maybe it's sunny, but we, we have some warm weather today here in Pennsylvania, but it's also very cloudy, so we, I'll take the warmth. Um, last weekend, we had our team meeting, and um, some um, some of our team members made some beautiful cards, um, some nice fancy fold cards, and um, using this uh, bundle and these papers. And I just felt like I had to um, show you some of the things, but I couldn't do something um, quite as fancy as they did. So I just made a simple card using all of the beautiful designer series papers. And this is a top folding card with a uh, with a landscape. But I wanted to show off that wave and um, then have a nice inside. So if, if, you, if you're looking for something really, really fancy, um, check out my blog with um, that I where I posted um, the cards that um, some of my teammates designed because they are really, really fantastic and awesome. Awesome. But I, I did want to um, show you um, this, um, this uh, beautiful, beautiful set. Thank you, Karen. So the first thing that I did, um, so let, before, I, before I show you what I did, I wanted to um, show you that there are two different wave dies. One of them has like just two little um, uh, things over here, and then the other one has three of them. Uh, three little, uh, but they can kind of go together like you you saw on uh, my card. And then you've got the beautiful um, cloud dies that are uh, that are layered clouds. So you've got two different ones for each of the uh, each of the different uh, cl cloud shapes. And then you've got some beautiful labels as well. So let me go ahead and get started with my card. And I've already die cut pretty much everything. And the first thing that I did was taking a panel of this beautiful, and this is one that's in Calypso Coral. And um, this is, see, isn't that a beautiful swirl? It's hard to know exactly which side to use. This paper is just so beautiful. And as I've said before, this will go with any of your ocean uh, themed stamp sets, die sets, any anything that's ocean themed. It's going to just go beautifully because the paper is just so beautiful and it's got so many different beautiful colors with it. So um, definitely check it out because, and I had to just um, use it again for um, my Facebook Lives. And this panel is cut to three and a um, three and a half by five and a quarter and I'm just um, adhering it to the card front um, and this is a Pacific Point card base just put it on flat with liquid glue like this okay now I've die cut two of um, I have a panel another panel and this one is um, has got pretty much the Pacific Point and um, white. And then on the back, this has got more of the Calypso Coral. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to stamp that um, beautiful wave stamp in Night of Navy ink. And I'm gonna do this in my Stamparatus. My first one, I stamped by hand, and I felt like I, it could have been a little dark, and, and you can see I've done a lot of stamping with this set here. And this is a big, uh, a big stamp, and so maybe you wanna just use a Stamparatus just to, um, 
just to um, make it easier. Although I felt like I was very, pretty successful with stamping that um, earlier. And um, then I'm gonna ink it up with Knight of Navy ink. Um, and what I wanted to do is um, use my Stamparatus specifically because I, um, I've i got a lot of blues here and I wanted, um, but I don't think there's Knight of Navy on this particular um, panel. And I want to make sure that it, it, it shows. So I want to be able to stamp it twice if I need to. So I'm gonna press it down and I'm gonna press press really good to make sure I get a, a good transfer of the stamped image on the paper. Now this paper had a lot of white over on the corner here, so it'll be interesting to see how that um, shows up with everything. So it's, you can see, you can see some of the um, the wave and then there, there's gonna be a lot of movement and swirl with uh, the white in, um, in the uh, in the big wave there, and I'm going to do this one more time just to 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 get a little bit better definition of of things, and I'm going to press it real good. So this wave can be stamped on cardstock or on designer series paper, and it, you're going to get a different look. And that's a little bit more intense there. You're going to get a different look depending on which of the papers you choose to use. And it's all going to be beautiful. I think it's all going to be beautiful. So um, there is um, the paper. And then I'm going to put on, and which one did I do first? I did the um, Knight of Navy uh, way first. Um, I'm going to put that... Um, I've already die cut the foils and I'm gonna put those on the uh, wave. Now, when I die cut these foils, I used um, the adhesive sheets on the back of my foil, on, my, on the back of my foil before I die cut it. I um, put that on and so now I just have to um, peel off the, the, um, the foil backing. And I think in this corner, so that's gonna, this is gonna be a little bit tedious and apologize for the time that it's taking. But you can see how pretty easily, usually it is to remove um, this backing paper. Um, let's see, it, I'm gonna have different pieces because I did apply different this on different pieces. I'm using, just trying to, get my fingernail in, um, in to pull off the adhesive sheet backing. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so there's a, a nice big chunk that's gonna come off, and then it's gonna, so you just wanna be careful that, um, that um, you uh, you don't stretch it or or crease your panel because it is is fairly delicate. And let's see it have a little bit more up here, so I'll get this off. Is it right here? I, I can use sometimes uh, a little sharp edge is good, but sometimes this can, um, the sharp edges will also, you want to be careful not to poke it through your paper to, um, get the, um, maybe if I start from this edge, it'll be easier. You want to be careful not to poke it through and um, damage your um, your paper that you're trying to stick, in this case, the foil. Come on. There's a little piece right here. And I think with... Um, with the foil.
oil. And this is kind of tedious, but I definitely think it's well worth it to use the adhesive sheets as opposed to trying to um, use a, a, even a fine tip glue, I think would be kind of uh, tedious. And then you wouldn't want to get um, your glue on the uh, on the uh, on the outside of the foil and mess up your shine. There we go. And then you have two of these that will go down. And then I just have to get some of this off of this bottom one here. Come on, there we go. I think I've got, do I have a little more? I have another little piece right here and I want to get this since um, this one, I didn't cut this one all the way on. Come on. Definitely want this little, little bump right here because he's gonna. There we go. There, that wasn't very much. Is that? No, I think that's okay. I think there's some more here. Just a little bit more. I think I see the edge right here. Oops. That's okay. I think there's, is there, this is good. This is sticky, this is sticky. So it's just this little tip here that um, has a little bit more of the backing on it. I just want to pull off. And then Let's see, come on. There we go, okay, there we go. So this is cut to um, five and a quarter, five and a quarter here. And so I'm gonna just do my best to line up for edge. And even though I've stamped it a little bit off, it's going to be fine a little on the edge here and then the edge of this die is going to be uh, about five and a quarter and I'm gonna yeah just pull this over a little bit and just align it up along the bottom here and then I'm going to just turn this over and give it a good press and press everything. There we go. Okay, so that's the um, Knight of Navy um, foil. So it's been stamped with Knight of Navy, and then it's had the Knight of Navy foil applied on top of it. So then let's, after we put that on, then we'll take the Coastal Cabana Wave that's die cut from the uh, Coastal Cabana um, foil. And you can see this one has the um, three tips here, the three uh, wave tips. So um, we'll pull this, pull the backing off of this one, two. I apologize, this is so tedious. But the, using the adhesive sheets really is the, I think I got um, the um, back of the, got a little bit too much here. Ah, oh, there we go. On, I, on this, I just kind of lifted this up and I ended up pulling the back of the foil as opposed to the uh, the um, adhesive sheet backing. So that's something that you uh, don't want to do. And let's see here, pull this, this one off. And when I did this, I had like 
three um, three different pieces of adhesive um, uh, sheets for each of the these waves and so that's why it's coming off in different pieces and when it does come off easily it comes off pretty easily it's, if you're patient it's not it's not difficult to work with I'll start from this end and maybe I can get everything off in one fell swoop. There we go. That was, wow, that was nice and easy. Now, did I get everything? I think I did. Everything looks shiny. Okay, and then I'm going to line this up on top. And especially over here where this one, I'm going to scooch that guy down. And if I need to cut him off, then I can trim him off. But I'm going to just line this up with the edge here and this is why I wasn't worried about the uh, the fact that the bottom there did not um, did not line up perfectly and I'm going to turn this over and press it down And see, so now we've got the Coastal Cabana and we've got the Knight of Navy. Both of those are the foils in the wave there. So I'm going to take my, um, the next step is I'm going to pull this little sliver, just trim this little sliver off so he's not sticking out. And then I'm going to fussy cut. And what I want to do is I want to fussy cut around the stamping. I'm, I, I, I'm going to actually go in the stamping and just kind of get the movement of the waves and um, fussy cut around it. And just give it lots of, lots of different kind of curves. And here I've got some uh, stamped sea spray, so I'm going to go curve around the sea spray. And I'm going to just trim that off to make it easier for me to cut around here. Just going to go in, just make little, little curves. And then just kind of end it like right there, just kind of like that. So just a little bit of fussy cutting, just and this is uh, fairly easy because it doesn't it doesn't matter that it's um, that it's precise and it doesn't it it doesn't matter that it's um, going to um, it uh, kind of goes off of things. So then that's the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adhere this with um, dimensionals. And I've got my little half dimensionals here. And I'm just going to fill this up. And the fact that you've got your uh, cardstock here, not your cardstock, the fact that you've got your designer series paper backing um, those, uh, backing all of those, uh, that beautiful foil the foil die cuts makes it so that you can do uh, just um, you know, put a bunch of dimensionals on the back here and have this be uh, be on uh, give your card a little bit of dimension so that it's not quite flat but you could do it flat and then it would be still be pretty if it was flat but just give yourself a little bit of extra and then um, get all your covers off Oh, 
almost done here. There we go. All right, and then we'll just put this, and I'm going to leave um, just a little bit of the uh, Calypso coral on the bottom here, and this will this will uh, line up with the edge of the um, Calypso Coral Designer Series paper. And then press it, and then is it, you still have that. The um, different, the two different blue foils really, really makes this um, just so totally awesome. And then with um, the, the, you've got all of these beautiful die cut clouds. And, um, and it's a little bit hard to see because it's white on white, but maybe if I hold it close here, you've got um, some embossed texture in um, each of these clouds that um, that even if you don't, um, and it's really hard. Oh, maybe there. It's really kind of hard to see, but you've got some embossed texture on uh, these clouds as you um, go ahead and um, and um, cut them out. And then I'm going to use um, my liquid glue and just um, add this, um, add these, um, the second layer of cloud. And I'm just putting little dots and I'm gonna just, just barely touch this to it. Some of these spots are kind of thick. Some of them are, are kind of skinny. I think that looks good. And it's just so easy because the um the bottoms just line up so nicely exactly with the bottom of your cloud and they really add just a a, a, a nice oops I smudged it moved it there we go. They really add a nice dimension to um make give you a nice little dimensional cloud there. Okay, yeah, there. So I've got, there's there's a big one. So with um, with this set, you're gonna get um, uh, a two-piece large cloud and you're gonna get a two-piece little tiny cloud. And I'm going to use, for today's card, I'm using uh, uh, two tiny cards and one, two tiny clouds. For today's card, I'm using two tiny clouds and one large cloud and adding just the glue in on the back there, line up the bottoms, and then press. And you can see how you've got such a nice little dimensional cloud. It really adds a lot of interest to it. And then one more little cloud will do this to it. And I think that if you, if, if you know, for doing um, these clouds with it, the, these little things with adhesive sheets, you could do that as well. But it's not quite as, um, as uh, extensive as the waves. So I decided to just go ahead and um, glue this on. And... I've got this guy right here. Okay, now I'm gonna be right back because I realized I need to have glue dots and I left my glue dots on my other table. So I'm gonna go get the glue dots and these tiny little clouds. I'm going to stick them on with uh, glue dots and I'm gonna, where are we? There we go. And I'll stick glue dots on the back. Use two for each of these. Oops, I don't want that. There we go. Use two glue dots for each of them. And then one of these clouds I'm going to stick over here. And just put that on and um, even even though this guy isn't popped up I think that um, the the layering in the clouds really makes it very dramatic anyway so it's it's really cute and then these clouds I think you could use for a lot of different um, a lot of different 
um, scenes that you create, outdoor scenes, like with little animals or or um, anything. And they're, they're just really cute. So I'm going to put this one right here. And then this cloud, I'm going to pop, pop on top of it, but I'm going to put it on with um, some little half dimensionals, which will fit nicely here. One more. There we go. And pull these off. And then just stick this guy kind of over this one like that so that it's there. And then when I cut the waves out, I had the, the, um, the foils are, um, uh, I, th I believe, two and a half. But I'll have all the measurements in my blog tomorrow, two and a half by five and a quarter. And so you've got all this area right here that... Um, on your foils, and I decided to um, cut some of these uh, birds using the bird die cut because there's a bird die cut in this um, set as well. And so I decided that I would add some uh, blue, shiny blue seagulls um, flying in the sky, and um, these are um, also backed with adhesive. There we go. I'll add this guy, like right here, and there's two different um, styles of birds. One with his wings spread um, real wide like this, and then one with uh, kind of more like a V, and and they are pretty substantial in terms of size too, so. That's a that's a nice thing. And then finally, the last one. Thank you, Karen. I know I felt like I was so inspired by all the cards that um, the team made last weekend that I had to do something. I don't think this is nearly as nice as theirs, but it, it's really pretty. So since it, it was a much simpler and less ambitious, since I didn't have a fun fold, I felt like I had to use both of the different, um, both of the different beautiful uh, foil colors. So this is um, my card front, and I, I, I didn't have a sentiment, and I didn't have any ribbons, and I don't have any, um, any, um, no sentiment, no ribbons, and no jewels. But those jewels that come with uh, this collection are also beautiful. And so for the inside, I decided to um, just um, have a strip of designer series paper and use this beautiful um, sentiment. I think is just great. And then of course put a. Um, a pelican on the side here. So let's go ahead and pull that together. Now um, the um, I'm going to put uh, the strip of paper here, and so let me let me see if I can get something so that I can line this up. So I'm going to line this up right here, and I'm going to stamp the sentiment in Knight of Navy, and it's over here. But I just want to make sure that I don't put this on upside down because this is such a sweet sentiment. And I'll put it over on the side here and um, put it up so that I've got about a half of an inch for my, um, for my designer series paper strip. And I've got it lined up on the bottom here. And that's done. Isn't that such a wonderful sentiment to give to a friend, and it's just, it's such, such a simple font, and I just love that about it, too. And then um, my pelican, I'm going to stamp this in uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Let's get him inked up. And we'll just put this on the side. And I have not been able to stamp this guy straight yet. So we'll see if we can do 
what we can do at this point. See how well it was. And I've been saying to myself, usually those pylons are kind of crooked anyway, so it doesn't, it's not going to matter. But that worked out pretty good. Good. So, and then I will color, color this bird with uh, just a little bit of, uh, this is dark so saffron on his legs and on his beak. just to get a little bit of color and add a little bit of light smoky slate to his uh, body and just around the edges here. It, um, I think that worked out really well. A little on his shoulder here and on his back and kind of and on his Everywhere you see where the the um the little speckles are, and then I have for the the pillars, I'm going to just apply uh, light uh, crumb cake ink to color the pillars, and that gives it kind of a weathered wood look. like you were in a seafood restaurant in Florida watching the pelicans outside by the docks. So much more peaceful than uh, the uh, rough and tumble of the wave there. And that is, I think, just a gorgeous pen uh, pelican image. I think it's one of the best I've seen, so I just love it. And then, um, so for this card, I said, do I want the uh, clips of coral or do I want the um, the other blue for uh, trimming the bottom? And I just decided to go with the clips of coral to bring it in with the, um, the front a little bit, the card front, the background a little bit better. And just add this to the bottom to tie the front of the card with it, tie it together with the front of the card. And that's a perfect, pretty perfect fit, pretty nice fit, so it doesn't need to be trimmed. And I'm going to adhere this to the inside of the card with some stamp and seal. And then we're done. And this is just, um, there are so many beautiful, um, beautiful cards with this bundle. And um, did I, did I, I didn't say that this uh, bundle is uh, part of the new catalog. And the new, cat, uh, the new catalog is going to be coming out in uh, the beginning of May. And um, we, we got a heads up this week that... Uh, a couple, I guess, day before yesterday, that the uh, the uh, retiring list is going to be um, announced on this coming Tuesday. So it's the annual catalog retiring list. So be on the lookout for that because I'm sure once they post it and they say that everything um, folks can know, then um, especially your in colors and your um, your your inks and your ink refills, they're going to probably be fast to go. So um, be on the lookout for that on um, Tuesday, May uh, 23rd. And this is my card for today. And thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Have a great week, and um, I'll be back next weekend. Bye-bye. Thanks.